Hey guys, what's going on? It is Summon Meets Nick here from SummonMeetsNick.com and TutorialZip.com. Yes, I know SummonMeetsNick.com has been down for quite some time. I've been planning on redoing that. Uh, basically, what my plan is now is to give... I know like so many of my subscribers have tech shows. They have the tutorials. They do so much tutorials on the internet, and I'm thankful for that because with WordPress 3.0 coming out, I'm going to give back um, to everybody. I'm going to let you guys... Put your content on the website, have your own WordPress, have your own themes, have your own everything. So it's all bunched up and together, and I'll make it so it's CEO friendly. It gets a lot of, because you guys already know my sites get a ton of traffic. I'll, so you guys basically have more more traffic coming to your YouTube channel, more subscribers, more videos, and video views, and etc. etc. Anyway, enough of that. Um, last announcement. Um, if you have been a subscriber for Mr. Meets Nick for quite a while, you guys know that my partnership was taken away from me. So, I created Summit Meets Nick, and within, once I got, like, around 200 subscribers, I applied for a partnership, like, right away. I was like, oh, damn, I made a mistake, because you're never supposed to apply for a partnership when you have that much subscribers. You're supposed to wait till, like, around 1,000 to, like, 1500 or something like that, but I applied by mistake and I finally finally got the YouTube review application thingy back into my email and they of course they denied but they it wasn't an ordinary Email it wasn't like an automated message. It was actually a person Like the guy gave me his phone number the guy gave me his name and everything an email saying the reason why it took so long and Yada yada yada. So he told me to call him. So I called him up. He was a nice guy. And I t basically taught him my situation here. And so he's like, okay, I'll make a deal with you. If you can get around 1,500 subscribers by in, in the end of two months, because two months I, I can apply again, they will accept my partnership for some of its next. So I'm be I'm actually not begging you, but I'm asking you guys for help. If you haven't subscribed to some of its neck and you're you subscribed to this meets neck, Go ahead and subscribe, please. Just please go ahead and do that. And if you guys know people, know your friends, create freaking random accounts and just subscribe. I will subscribe back. And with if this pulls off, if I get the partnership, I will do a giveaway. I'm not sure what to give away yet, so make sure you leave a comment below so I can know what to give away for financial needs, you know. Um, but other than that, enough of me talking. Let's get right into the tutorial. So today... I'm going to teach you guys how to change the OEM information with this cool program I found online and a lot of extra stuff too. Um, the program is called Wind Bubbles. Now, the link will be in the description box below, but I will be uploading this to ShareCash just because of the giveaway because I need some extra money in my hands to, you know, to buy the product and give it away for you guys. Um, so you can yeah, just go ahead and share cash download if I know a lot of you don't like share cash. That's fine. I understand but Just I need a little support here right now So once you download the file extract the folder to your desktop and install the program right here uh, Once it's uninstalling you get the shortcut open up the shortcut and it'll launch the program All right so here we go. I already did this. Um, basically, you have, your, you have a lot of tabs. You have your general, specific, icons, Windows 7, security, optimized tools, more policies, Internet Explorer, and tips and tricks. Now, what I'm, I'm going to stay focused on the general tab. Now, here you can change your OEM settings. Now, what I mean by that is this. If you go to start and you right click on computer and you press properties, it will bring up your OEM information. Now, mine's already changed. Um, now... My specs, don't be hating, I'm not a gamer, I've been on this Dell laptop for <laughs> ever since the first day I created Vista Meets Nick. I love it, had not, no issues with this thing, um, etc, etc. So yeah, this is your OEM information. So right here you can change your manufacturer's name, your website name, um, the support, I put never, uh, Dell has never support because Dell has, well, we can all finish that sentence. Phone number 911-0497, bang me. You can change everything. You can change the icon. by You can either browse your icon or you can select the icon. Um, and over here is you can add more options to the Explorer's content menu. 
context menu, sorry. What I mean by that is your right click menu. If you go to a program or .exe file and you right click it, and um, right here, I'll right click on Steam. I already checked, see, open with Notepad. Um, that's not usually there. I checked it, I applied it, I logged off or rebooted, whatever you want to do, and it's there now. I can open with Notepad and I'll actually open up Steam with Notepad. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I'll see. I never actually did that before. <laughs> that's probably going to take a while or something. I'm not sure how that's going to open up with Notepad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give up on that one because that's, that's pretty much not possible. Uh, basically, yeah. You can add disk cleanup to the computer icon, device manager, you can add a lot of options to the right click menu. And you can also customize your desktop too. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If you want to, once you fill out everything and you select the things you want, you press go ahead, go ahead and press apply. Um, you're going to, once that's done, you're going to have to log off or log back on. So I'm going to uncheck this, apply. Applying these settings, you're gonna have to log off, log back on, and once you do that, um, it should should be good. The program should work. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Please like the video by giving it a thumbs up, comment the video, and everything. Uh, make sure you subscribe for the giveaway. Um, I really thank you guys for your support on this. If you guys are gonna like follow this, um, so yeah, basically I need a fifteen hundred subscribers by the end of two months to get this partnership in hand. So, thank you guys for all your support. Um, I'll be sure to make this giveaway a little bit bigger giveaway, I'm not sure, but leave the comments below to, so I can see what you guys want and um, stuff like that. So, I'm Summer Snake from TutorialZip.com. Make sure you check that website out for creating a website. Um, other than that, see you guys later. I guess.